Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a flow for either new moms or for people working at the desk. Anybody that is constantly carrying or hunching over, that's appropriate for anybody that's experiencing upper back pain, lower back pain, general discomfort and closing down of the chest, maybe even the optical um, closing down of the torso, shortening of the torso because we are carrying ourselves a little hunched over. So anybody that's having problems, neck, shoulders, back, good for you. Your moms tend to need that. And we'll begin in the front of the mat, spread the toes wide open. Because we need to start working on a proper posture. Knees are lifting so that the thighs are engaging, do not lock your knees. Slightly extend the tailbone down without over tucking. So you want to find the natural curvature of the spine. Roll the shoulders back and down and feel a lift through the chest. Wake up to that feeling, in fact. Inhale the hands out and reach over the head. Let's bring the hands over the third eye and over the heart. One more time, hands out. Really reaching through the fingertips here. Over the head, over the third eye, over the heart, one more time. Reach, lift, over the third eye, over the heart, one last time. Reach, really open, lift. Let's bring the hands behind us, sit in chair and press your hands away from your back. Lower down into your chair and look over the right shoulder and over the left. One more time, right and left, soften. Slowly lower down, forward bend, pressing the hand gently up away from you and away from your back. So lengthening into directions, back away from you and up away from your shoulders. Drop the left hand down, hand underneath the shoulder, bend the left knee, take the right arm up. Press the right hip back, reach over the head, palm of the hand facing down. Right arm reaching, great. Changing sides, bending the right knee, reach, twist, enjoy. Over the head, palm of the head facing down, shoulder away from your ear, and back. Hmm, exhale. Inhale, look ahead of you, plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Lower down onto your belly, hands underneath the shoulders. Cobra. And just look over to your right, over to your left. Right, left, right. right left and slowly lower down from here tuck your toes under and press back into extended puppy so an extend, extended child's pose here where your hips are pressing back and your shoulders are away from your ears hands are planted down into your mat and you're getting to stretch the upper back here the hands are basically uh, planted and reaching away from your tailbone, creating a lot of space along the spine here. Great, from here, we're going to walk the hands over to the right and booty drops over to the left. Opposite side, walking the hands over to the left and your torso and booty press back towards your right. Excellent, coming up onto all fours. We're going to round the back and look towards the navel. Arch the back, open the chest, drop the shoulders away from the ears, spacious around the neck. Rounding, pull the belly in. Arching, one more time. And we're 
gonna do the puppy looking in its tail pose, right, looking over your uh, left shoulder. So turn your booty towards the left, look over to your left, and twist. So you look over the shoulder towards your tailbone, basically. A few times, bringing a lot of movement in the spine, upper lower spine, it's fine. Great, from here, we are going to sit down in a cross leg, a comfortable position. Round your back, look towards your navel. Inhale, arch your back, open everything in the chest area, space between the collarbones, rounding, arching, rounding, arching, rounding, arching, rounding, arching, and now we can do twists, changing direction. So as you move, you're basically drawing circles with your torso. Change direction one more time, really getting into your obliques and again, get into your shoulders, back, obliques. Excellent. And let's walk the hands to the front of the mat. Let your toes under downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up, open the right hip on top of the left, press the heel as high as you can, bend the knee and lift, shoulders away from the ears, step the right foot between the hands, come up, high lunge, here we're going to bring the hands behind us, interlacing the fingers, pressing the hands down the leg. Lower down, head lowers down towards the mat, towards your ankle, pressing the left heel away from you. Left hand on the floor, twist here without putting weight onto your left wrist or shoulder, you're supported by the strength of your torso and legs. Step it back, plank, chaturanga. Lower down, cobra, and let's look over the right shoulder, left, right, left. Now here, please don't straighten your arms like this. This is the wrong alignment right now. And lifting up your shoulders, which is a common misalignment. Elbows by your rib cage and lift here so that there is a rounding through the entire back. And opposite side, down dog. Left leg comes up, open the left hip on top of the right, bend the knee. Breathe, shoulders away from the ears, hands planted firmly into your mat. Step it through, high lunge. Interlacing the fingers, reversing the clasp here behind you, open the chest, look up. Humble warrior, humble yogi, lower down. The forehead lowers towards your heel. Back heel presses away from you. Excellent, right hand on the ground. Twist here and press that left hip back. You can extend over, plank. Chaturanga, lower down onto your belly, cobra, coming up onto all fours, let's take the right hand, palm facing up underneath, let it underneath the left shoulder and open here, the back of your right shoulder is on the ground and your entire spine is in a mild twist, comfortable twist, the back of the head is on the ground, let's come out of this, opposite side, mm -hmm. 
inhale coming out of this one more time coming into a comfortable sitting position we're going to look over the right shoulder over the left right left right left you should already feel a little more open than you were feeling in the beginning of the class let's keep the neck elongated on both sides lower the right ear over your right shoulder and then change think of it as if you're stretching the top of your head away from your shoulders rather than just bringing the ear down so really elongate and try not to tip the head forward keep everything aligned in the same plane and opposite side one more time on both sides and here we will do a few circles now with circles please don't don't uh, collapse the back of your neck still elongate the back as if you're just looking up rather than back so there is no collapsing of the back of the neck and opposite you're looking for length in yoga always length excellent open the hands out reach over the head clasping and pressing the palms of your hands up from here you're going to turn the palms of your hands towards you arms parallel to the floor around your back and press your shoulders away from your hands hands pressing away from you and come up press the palms of your hands up sitting upright one more time round it as if you're hugging someone but you're also rounding the back and reaching up excellent hands out reach with your right hand right out from your hip out press the hand out and pull the elbow in so you're pulling the elbow in that creates a lot of space in the shoulder and the neck and take the left arm out pay attention that your booty both sitting bones are down on the ground that you're not just leaning here you're actually grounding your left sitting bone and that creates the elongation here and the space on the right side beautiful opposite side really rich and then lift Great. from here we're just going to walk the hands in front of us ground the body back sitting bones on the ground walk your hands all the way to your right left sitting bone down and really feel all that stretch that's gonna happen in your back you know, so really appreciate that office workers or actually most people in our society will need this class every so often if you're driving if you're doing anything that keeps you in a seated position for an extended period of time you won't need that beautiful coming up open your arms out and we're going to make sure that there is enough room around you we're just going to spin a few times and you can touch your index middle to your thumb and spin a few times sitting bones grounded All right, let's bend the elbows and spin a few more times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So your gaze is just following. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. And here we're just going to do a few circular or figure eight type of movements really moving the spine and change direction really change direction here everything is getting unlocked all that trapped energy and stagnant energy is moving out of your body really not even symbolically speaking or metaphorically this is literally we're moving <laughs> the muscles that are stagnant and from here coming into all fours and trying not to be too woo in the class and just keep it at anatomy <laughs> tuck your toes under downward facing dog so for downward facing dog make sure that your shoulders are away from your ears and your hips are pressing up 
and your belly is pulling in and up Finger fingers are spreading open and that creates great alignment for your wrists inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge drop the back knee down and reach back in a back bend from here turn to your right and bring your right hand onto your left leg twist here reaching through your fingertips inhale reach exhale down plank chaturanga cobra down dog left leg comes up step it through high lunge to low lunge knee on the ground keeping the kneecap so basically placing um, the area above your kneecap on the ground not the kneecap itself please look up all right twist to your left bring the left hand down the right leg reach through your right hand mm. feel this stretch through the entire body tell me that yoga doesn't awaken every part of your body inhale reach exhale plank give me a strong plank shoulders open shoulders away from the ears heels pressing away from you lower down inhale cobra exhale child's pose so in child's pose i want you to reach over the head walk your hands over to the right and really relax here for a few breaths opposite side back to center grab your heels and walk your forehead to your knees we're going to bring the booty up and roll on towards the top of the head rabbit pose without putting weight on the head the weight is on your knees and legs beautiful inhale the hands over the head come up down dog inhale the right leg up step it through high lunge I want you to drop your back heel down and from here hips facing forward warrior one open your hands out and we're going to draw 10 circles with the fingertips in one direction doesn't matter which one because we will reverse it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten reverse it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten reach over the head exhale hands behind you clasping hands pressing away from you walk them over to your right just a gentle movement here nothing major over to the left again gently gently moving back to center inhale hands over the head exhale forward hands on the floor plank chaturanga onto your belly cobra down dog inhale left leg up step it through come up high lunge and i want you to drop that back heel down hips facing forward exhale your hands behind you reversing the clasp with the dominant finger under pressing the hands away from you soften the shoulders Soften your gaze, soften your jaw. Walking the hands over to one side and over to the other. 
Release the clasp hands out and we're going to draw circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Relaxing the shoulders, reversing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's lower down. Plank. Lower down onto your belly and we are going to bring the hands behind the head elbows out in the same plane with your ears come up lower down lift your chest off the floor lower down one more time and here i want you to lift your legs and hands off the floor and let's swim opposite hand to leg lifts So doing little swim, move, swimming move here. Excellent, hands underneath your shoulders, come up, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. Drop the back heel down, look down, heel to heel alignment or heel to arch alignment. And windmill your hands up, arms up. Warrior two. Reverse the warrior by walking the left hand down the left leg and bending that right knee so that the elongation is happening through the torso. Side angle, elbow over the knee. If you prefer, hand on the ground if you have the flexibility. I invite you to join me, otherwise stay in the previous pose. Totally perfectly fine. All right, walking over. To the opposite side, look down, heel to heel alignment, closing the right foot, spread the toes open, lift the arch, press into the other and inner edges of your foot, windmill the arms out, warrior two, reverse it. Beautiful side angle. Extending the tailbone down so extra elongation happens. I'm gonna lower mine down, but feel free to stay in the previous position. Great, from here, walk your hands to the center of your mat, feet parallel to each other, lower down. Wide-legged forward bend, which allows your entire spine to relax. Let's bring the left hand underneath the left shoulder, take the right arm up, change sides, one more time change sides, this time wrap your right hand back and around, looking up, beautiful and changing sides, wrapping back and around. Beautiful, from here, point your toes out and come into a plie or horse stance for the men, horse stance for the women, maybe plie from ballet. This is popular both in ballet and in martial arts. So knees pressing back, which opens your hips, which can release your lower and upper back. So let your hips, working open here, legs are working, strengthening. Let's reach side to side, side to side. Hands behind you, clasping. Walk your hands over to your right, look to your left. Change. One more time. Change, great. Hands on the upper thighs or mid thighs. Look over your right shoulder and press into your left hand, left arm straight, opposite side, really allowing for a twist to happen here. One more time. All right, coming into plie, we're going to open the arms out and bring them over the heart. 
open them out just so that you're feeling this openness in the chest bringing over the heart open out over the heart open out over the heart beautiful reaching over the head here hands on the ground frogs stretch lower the knees down feet are flexing calves parallel to each other lower down stretching the inner thighs Beautiful, coming out of this, we're going to finish today's class with a much needed back stretch. This is only if your spine is okay with plow, you're going to lay back onto your back, bring your hips up and over your shoulders, plow. Now you can be in supported plow where your hands are on your lower back and you can be a little further back if you're in full-on plow you can shimmy your shoulders towards each other press the hands down into your mat Come out, support your lower back, lower yourself down. Happy baby, bringing your knees by your rib cage, grabbing the other edges of your feet. That's another relieving for the back pose. And let's do the opposite movement here from plow. We're going to bring the feet hip width apart. Feet parallel to each other, toes pointing forward and pressing into the other and inner edges of the feet. Press your hips high, bridge pose. Try not to come onto the outer edges of the feet, press into the inner edges, outer edges, press your hips up. Even if that limits how deep a back bend or a bridge of you can get into that's okay just to keep proper alignment keep the proper alignment in that will allow you to slowly progress and to progress properly beautiful from here you can bring the soles of the feet together open the palms of the hands up by your sides you don't have to open your arms really out and like somewhere about 10 inches or more away from your hips drop the shoulders down and instead of meditating uh, on absolutely nothing try to anchor yourself into your the space between your eyebrows the so-called third eye and count your breath either with one two one two or each breath is an om 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 or you can count them to 100 and reverse, whatever suits you best. Try to focus on just counting, which will allow your mind to relax and rest from the constant inner internal dialogue, the constant chatter. And that will allow you to feel great when you come out of this. So stay for a while counting your breath. Anything counts, anything is okay, even if you manage to do 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes to five minutes of relaxation and meditation on your breath, it all, it all will add up to um, you feeling better throughout your day. So try to stick with a certain amount of breath here. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.